Enoch translated in the Quran as Idris in Arabic. Idris alayhi salam. Idris alayhi salam, he was a prophet of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And some of our scholars consider him to be the second prophet after Adam alayhi salam. Some consider him the third after Sheath. And some of our other scholars consider him the first prophet. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows best. And the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he said, Idris was a prophet. And he is the first man to ever write with the pen. So writing before Idris did not exist. And Abdullah ibn Abbas he describes Idris alayhi salam. He was a man who was tall. He was very good looking. He was very calm. He had a full grown beard. And he spoke very, very clearly. When he spoke, he was calm. When he walked, he lowered his gaze and looked on the ground. And he was a very collected individual, calm and collected. And he used to ponder and reflect. Very quiet. Hardly speaks only if there's a need. Kathir al contemplates a lot. He came as a prophet not to stop people from shirk or to call them to the correct information, but rather to help stop and call people away from acts of corruption which they knew were corruption. Away from their desires, as we know, such as zina and the act of killing, the act of murder, the act of proudiness, the act of corruption, to call them away from that. And it is said also in our history books that Idris salam was the first to take up arms against another army, to fight against injustice, to protect the innocent. When he saw the corruption spreading, especially among the people of Qabil, and that corruption is spreading even within the people of Idris. So Idris alayhi salam declared war against the, the corrupt people. And he prepared an army of horsemen and people walking, fighting against the people of Qabil and the corruption of the people of Qabil. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave victory to Idris alayhi salam. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala revealed to Idris one day, that Allah will give him the rewards of all the good deeds of mankind every single day. They say Idris alayhi salam, he was told by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that, Oh Idris, from those who have followed you, anyone who does good deeds, at the end of the day, you will have all those good deeds doubled for yourself. Now that is something amazing. This is a status. Imagine others do good deeds and you getting the reward of it. So he was very happy and he knew that his death was approaching. So he had a friend from the angels and he spoke to this friend. He says, you know, Allah has promised me this reward and I'd like to amass a lot of reward before I go. So why don't we speak to the angel of death? Let's see what he has to say to say, look, just try and see if you can seek permission to prolong a little bit. So Idris said, I want to live longer. The angel carried him on his wings and went up into the heaven, the skies. When it was the fourth heaven, they met the angel of death and the angel spoke to him. And the angel of death said, but where is Idris? He replied, he is upon my back. The angel of death said, how astonishing. I was sent and told to cease his soul in the fourth heaven. I kept thinking how I could cease it in the fourth heaven when he was on earth. Then he took his soul. His ruh was taken away whilst he was still in the fourth heaven. And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa confirms in Sahih al-Bukhari in an authentic narration that when he went up for Mi'raj, he met Idris alayhi salam in the fourth heaven. That is as much as we know about the life of Idris alayhi salatu wa salam. And this is why some of the Mufassirin say when Allah says he raised him to a high level, he is speaking of literally Allah took him up physically to the top and then his soul was taken there. Idris alayhi salam died and time passed. After the death of Idris, corruption started to increase even more. After a thousand years minimum or several thousands of years of generations it took the Iblis that long to finally influence the children of Adam to commit their first act of shipping.